What is good, Clutter people, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Bob Lamb, eating strictly my own feces for the rest of my life so no ideology can attack the way I be living. I'm simply just recycling my own energy, preserving Mother Earth, the most eco-friendly way of eating, all the while technically eating animal products to fulfill all the carnivorous necessities out there, as well as not eating any other living animal or its byproducts to satisfy the vegans. Best of both worlds, am I right? But surprisingly enough, there is an even crazy your diet, sorry, the inevitable diet of the future, that not only recycles energy like my current diet, but also solves one of the greatest issues that has heavily plagued this planet for the entire past decade, pertaining to the massive buildup of human waste, aka hella trash and litter. I mean, we literally have a growing continent made up of entirely of trash floating out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, so what better way to help this planet than to eat the trash? So without further ado, the next evolution of veganism the styrofoam diet let's talk about it okay so before i give you all my little piece in regards to the new styrofoam diet the reason this whole concept began was due to a viral video on twitter a couple days ago in which we can clearly witness a belligerent man next to a gas station or 7-eleven or, or something eating some sort of burrito composed of an actual burrito within a styrofoam box that he graciously ate as well in order to preserve the environment like the high class citizen of whatever country he's in that he is <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even break the food yet, all is that like the ball? All is that like the ball? Dude, Why are you eating the box, mate? Are you alright? Hello? Yes, I am. Yeah. Now I'm sure y'all are just as shocked as I am and I guess the Twitter CEO was too by the man eating styrofoam like it was f Rihanna's three year old poop suck cause the video was actually taken down on Twitter for violating community guidelines. Could have been for the somewhat bullying too but you know I digress. For the first thing we actually noticed before we find out about dude straight up eating Nike foam posits to the dome is that he's eating right outside of the convenience store. I don't know about y'all but after I buy shit from a 7-Eleven or gas station or whatever equivalent he's at in Scandinavia or something, I would get as far away as possible from there before I start eating my food, let alone open it. I mean, not only are we facing a global pandemic right now with AIDS infesting every waking surface, but also just in general, these locations are known for being a breeding ground of homeless people just taking fat ass shits in the middle of the sidewalk. Most of the time, even before Corona took over the planet, I'd hold my breath in gas stations as to not breathe the same air as the people who eat that food on a daily basis anyway. Which leads me to another prominent issue before the dude actually started eating the styrofoam. Who even eats that food in the first place? I swear them hot dogs roasting in the rotisserie oven probably have a life cycle of like three years before they're even flipped. Therefore, with all this being said already, I have deduced that this guy eating the double styrofoam burrito must be on something. I don't know if he been smoking hella crack or maybe he just smacked some oiled up cheeks with some banger wop and doesn't care about anything right now. Shit, that happens to me too. But whatever he was on, he could not speak English, let alone any legible
acceptable human language for that matter but hey maybe this new diet progresses your neuro pathways to the point where we don't need language just a universal grunt or sound or telepathy to transfer data instantly to one another's minds and once man's figured out the cameraman wasn't on the same level he just dipped can't be associating with these fools but what really got me throughout the whole video was the fact that every bite was such a struggle to rip the plastic from the container like it was a piece of some tough ass steak maybe he ordered a steak burrito and that's why dude thought it was normal i mean ordering a burrito from a gas station i can't even imagine what grade meat they have or even if it's technically fda approved meat or steak probably borderline grade d we're in the rest of the 40 percent of the let's just call it substance simply composes of pink sludge like mcdonald's chicken nuggets but as i was saying and then after every bite with a few chews man's kept getting confused as to why the plastic was getting stuck in his teeth so he'd pick it out and stare at it not even realizing what it is and that it's not necessarily edible then chuck it on the ground just to proceed with another bite repeating the entire process it's really beyond me I, I can't even handle it and I think it's quite obvious he was either hammered or actually on something since I've never seen something so bizarre from a grown man I've seen my like three-year-old nephews do something like this actually no nah, they would spit it out after one bite due to the taste and texture but a 40 year old man doing this what are you doing go home to your wife and have her cook you up some styrofoam i'm sure she got plenty at home so with that it's your boy bob lamb signing off buying whatever prescription this man eating plastic was on because he probably living like larry out there let me know in the comments what substance y'all think he was on make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it for the most random internet videos as well as to follow me on all my socials in the description to join the bob gang if you with it sorry for the inconsistent uploads i've been trying to figure out a good schedule for everything and the main channel peace out cut people no sin Brrr.